Okay, we're going to do just a simple, cute pumpkin face. Uh, because I got this, where is it? This little pumpkin hat. So cute. I got this from uh, Spirit Halloween. So instantly I thought, ah, oh, because I have quite a few flatheads. I'm just going to do a cute pumpkin. So let's get started. I painted this with uh, Craft Smart Orange just simple orange it goes on really good um, it's not like some of those thin um, thin paints where you have to do coat after coat after coat after coat and this is a satin acrylic but it, it's just not super shiny like the other satins I've used I just I like it works really good all right so um, you can go ahead and do like the line down the line across to try to find your center point if that helps you and then you can just wipe it off when you're done um, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it so I'm going to turn it and look at it straight on and I'm going to consider this the center just put a little line there um, so I don't want to go too low because I'm not going to have a lot going on and I don't want too much of a forehead there so I'm going to start with the nose and I'm going to make it kind of a good sized triangle and a little bit of a curve underneath. You can even see it. Lighting's pretty bad. Okay, so I kind of curve on the ends, not really sharp corners. Now, this is the hard part, trying to get oval eyes even on both sides. If you have like an oval um, template, you know, like cut a little paper or cardboard and you can trace so they're even. You know what? I have never done that. Let's try it. Whoa, there went the hat. I've never tried it, so let's give it a try. So I'm just going to, if I can even draw an oval. I think if you have like a cardboard maybe, I think that size is good. I think I would like it to be a little wider on the bottom. Okay, so oval but wider on the bottom. Let's see if I can do it. Never tried it before. Definitely, though, you can buy that. Uh, it's not like cardboard, but it's thicker paper. Even, um, what is that called? That craft paper? I don't know. It's like what kids use in school. That's even thicker and would probably work a lot better. All right, let's give it a try. And then still, even though you're tracing it, you've got to make sure that you angle it the right way so I don't know let's see let's give it a try so I think I'll put one here so I'll just go around get it even. That's the hard part. Uh, let's see. Oh. It doesn't look very even. try it. Let's see. I'm 
not bad. Not perfect, but it's not bad. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just kind of do a squiggly line like so. Just like that. Do a curve up, curve up. Now, this part we want to have big pupils. This is another thing you got to try to get even. So we'll go straight across. Oh, that's a little too high. better. Then we're going to have another line that's going to be the color, eye color. Huh. We'll see. Okay, then we're going to do a curve around kind of the top and outside of the eye. They don't have to be perfect. Maybe a little one underneath here right there. All right, let's give it a try and see. Get out our black paint. It's super cute and easy to do. Okay, uh, start here. You have to make sure that you you turn the head to where it's comfortable. Um, otherwise, your lines might not turn out right. And always use your pinky as a balancer. I'm feeling that this isn't round enough right here. I don't know, I followed the outline though. Go ahead and give a little eye crease there, eye crease here. Oh, then we're gonna give him an eyebrow here. And an eyebrow here. Now we're gonna do, I didn't paint the inside yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and outline. Put a little slight curve to that part of the nose. Now let's do his mouth. Super fun, simple little craft for Halloween. Now, if you need to know how to prep the head, if you go to my shop, creepyholidaystuff.com, there's a tutorial on how to prep styrofoam head uh, for painting, how to get a smooth finish. I highly recommend purchasing um, the one that's the newer one. There's an older one there um, that doesn't have tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So, uh, the one I'm talking about is 
I think it's $12.99. That one has my tips and tricks and it will definitely help you get a nice smooth finish before you start painting. Hopefully these are fairly even. I honestly don't know. Uh, it's pretty close. Pretty close. I will just do this for the eye color. One thing, remember, if you make a mistake, almost always you can fix it. Don't get discouraged. It's always you can fix it. Okay, so now we have our outline. Now, I'm going to come around and make a little thicker areas by just pressing on my brush. Come around, press again where I want a little thicker. We will do one here. And we'll do one here, just so it's not such a straight line, you know. There you go. Now we're going to do line here, line here. We'll do one line there. We'll do two that way, one this way, and then maybe two more up here. All right, so now we have to color the inside of the nose. And I think I am going to go with, let's see, oh, I can't see my colors very good here. Let's go with the, oh, that's not dark enough. Um, Had a rest orange. Hold on. Okay. This is warm sunset. It's really pretty, but it's not the color I want. I want to use this is burnt orange. I thought it was rest. That is going to go in the nose. Whoa. This will take a couple of coats, maybe one more. Whoa, black got in there. That's okay. Make sure you don't have any ridges in there. It's better if you have a little flat brush. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And now I'm going to go into some white. Where's my white?
try to put a little more of a curve on that bottom part. Okay, I'm going to use a metallic. Metallic crystal green. Then when we're done, we'll go over the colors in case you want to use the same colors. Don't worry if you go into the outline, you could fix that later during touch ups. I'm actually thinking about adding glitter to the nose. It's orange enough. I usually, I like to use the same color of paint um, underneath glitter when I use glitter. So, I think that'll work fine. Just using a flat brush so I get more area without ridges and it's quicker. Okay, now let's go. I got paint all over my finger. This is a cute little project for kids. You can help them draw it and help them paint it. Fun little Halloween arts and crafts, you know. Okay, it's coming together there slowly but surely. All right, so now I'm going to go back into the white because we need another coat. Watch where you put your finger. You don't want to uh, get paint everywhere. If you happen to get paint, you know, dip your hand and finger in paint and get it on the head somewhere else. And if you don't see it in time to wipe it off, if you do see it in time, wipe it off, you know, with a damp paper towel or something. But if you don't, uh, just use your base paint to cover it up. It might take a couple of coats, but you'll be able to cover it up. Add a little too much white on there. Okay, I'm going to go through and do another coat of the green. You can use any color, any color you want. Oh, whoa. I just love this green. I use a lot of my, my heads for eye color. And don't forget, if it's not perfect, it's okay. This is, you know, it's handcrafted, hand-painted. It's just something special made by you. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my liner. I can see where it's a little off there, but I think it's still cute. Still cute. Whoa, a little too much paint. That's where I added a little more curve because it was kind of flat there. That 
helped. Um, what I always tell my group, my group members, if you have trouble making a straight line or staying steady on your lines, hold on. Curve that one in. This one's a little squarish. This one's curved nice. Um, yeah, see how it's a little flatter there? I'm going to bring the white down right there to kind of give it a more curve. If you have trouble making a steady line, what I do is um, I use my pinky, of course. And when I start, I take in a slight, you know, not huge, just, you know, take in a breath. And I slowly blow out through my mouth as I'm doing the line. Some people hold their breath. I don't like holding my breath. And just by doing that, I'm able to stay rather steady. So definitely give it a try if you have trouble. All right, now to do this line. And remember, turn the head so it's a comfortable position for you as you're painting. I feel like that line is a little thick, but I'm not worried. Okay. So now we have, um, I don't know, maybe one more coat of black. Then I'll do highlight on, uh, highlight on the eyes. And I'm going to see if I can find my, oh, I have too many brushes. I've been doing so much painting here. Uh, there we go. Um, see if I can find my orange glitter. Let me just do this really quick. Just one more in the middle there. for the glitter really quick all right so next we're gonna do some glitter I like using the extra fine um, by Creatology this is extra fine orange just get a piece of paper I use some Eileen's clear tacky glue <sighs> using a little angled flat brush you can use any brush if it's, you know, you don't want to use a liner, it's too small. You want to be able to get all the way up to your outline. It's very important that you do not put too much. If you put too much, it'll be clumpy. And if it drips, you know, I'll mess it up. So just put a nice, a nice coat on there. Now, if you want, you can also leave little areas for the stitching. I've used, I've done that before. It's just a little bit more time consuming. And I'm just gonna do this simple. We could still add stitching that will just stick out from the sides. Okay, once you get that on there, you want to have 
um, another flat brush handy because if the glitter goes you know out further than you want it you want to be able to put it back where it belongs so let's get a good amount on there press on it gently do not rub at all blow on it get this out of the way uh, get that glitter off those eyeballs make sure the eyes are dry you want them very dry before you do this and we're just gonna kind of clean up the edges Now, if you end up having a spot, it's, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, you want to try to avoid having to re-add glitter because re-adding glitter sometimes goes on. It's just clumpy because you're adding more glue. It just, but if, if it does happen, which has happened to me, just use a liner for your glue and just barely dab it where you need it. And then, you know, use another little brush and just sprinkle it on where it's needed. You know, don't go full on pouring all kinds. Okay. I'm gonna quickly remove my pencil. I don't want any pencil. Mm -mm. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to take some white and I'm just going to use the bottom of my paintbrush, a little round one. And we're going to highlight right here. Try to get it, I got to look at it straight on, so try to get it very similar. Where the, the other one is and then we'll do another one here and we'll put it right here one more no I think that's good all right Next, I'm going to get this is a highlighter makeup brush. I'm going to lay him down so the dots don't by chance drip. It's a highlighter makeup brush. Just clean it off a little bit. And then I'm going to get some red eyeshadow. extra you don't want a bunch of a uh, fallout all over the face and then one right here look at that isn't that cute okay Now I'm going to do a slight, try to do a slight touch up. I'm using the base paint. My brush right here in this area is sticking out too much. So this might take a couple of coats. That's all. I wanted to do. See how it fixed that? <clears throat> and now I'll get the white paint and fix this one area here of the eyeball. Because you see how right here it's it has kind of a flat look. I don't want that. So watch where I put my pinky. Come around. There we go. All right. 
Now I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to spray it with an acrylic sealant and then we'll move on. Okay, I sprayed him with an acrylic sealant. You can get acrylic sealant, uh, acrylic sealant spray, all different brands. Um, just go to your, your craft store and go in the paint department and probably behind glass, if you're like California, the spray cans, um, even the sealants are hidden behind the glass, locked doors, <laughs> but um, any craft store. Okay, so got a few little extra things I'm going to put on him other than his hat. He probably should have had a scary face. Okay, if I was going to do it again, I probably would have did a scary face because of that. So, oh well, I didn't do that. I just made a cute face, but I'm still going to work with it. So I'm going to use some of this burlap ribbon. I like to put this around the neck. Let me see if I could change the view of the camera. Okay, changed it a little bit. So I'm just going to wrap around, see how much I need. I think that's it. Just a little bit bigger than his neck. I'm gonna cut it there. Then I have some raffia. So I want the crease to be back there and I'm just going to kind of crinkle around his neck. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's a little hard because hands aren't big enough to go all the way around his neck and hold it. But we try it. I like to tie on the side. You can adjust the, the neck how you want. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take um, so I'm going to take some hot glue, just a little flower bud, and I'm going to glue it right in there where that pin is, so you can't see it. He actually looks cute just like this. I don't even know if he really needs that hat. Let me get an idea. Oh, it's still cute. That's what I got the hat for. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Um, okay, wait. Let me take a look here. So the hat will be worn like this. So these are kind of big. Let me see about using these of course look more realistic you know they're nice but you can get these in a bag super cheap at Hobby Lobby get quite a few of these too. I might leave one out for down by the neck. We'll see. Let me just get an ID. 
idea. I have a fan blowing, sorry. Okay. So one is going to go there. Hot glue. Or you can pin it, you know, if you want to pin it. one I'm going to also glue. Hold on, I don't like these spider whips. Also going to glue it down. Right there. So it's not like sticking straight out looking silly. Oh, that didn't glue. What happened? There we go. Okay, so that's what I have so far. I know it looks kind of funny. That'll go like that. Let's see. I think I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add this to the hat to help bring it more together. Let's see, I'll just shove it right in there. I think that'll help bring the him and The neck together. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, ouch. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wait, let me put this back on. Hold on. It's so cute. Let me try to just use it so you can see him better. because uh, shipping wise I might not have a box long enough in the box the hat would have to be shipped wrap you know off the head might be too long just adding a few little this looks kind of stupid let's try you little pieces yeah. Is this too big? No, we'll use this. In fact, overloaded either. I just want to put a little bit. Okay, so you, my friend, will go right there. We'll glue you on. And then let's see. 
need really too, too much. Let me get his hat. is done now ooh. something you can also do to make it more of a centerpiece these little wood pieces of wood I got my sticker on there and um, paint it black get a drill and I like to get close to the same size as the hole that's underneath these and bam by adding that black stand let me move him back by adding the black stand it really brings the hat and all of him together. Now, like when I sell him, I'll send two flower clips. Let me show you. Floral clips, actually. You can buy floral clips in packages. They look like this. And when I'm using headbands to keep them in place, I put the floral clips on there. So again, I don't want to do that now because it would make the length of the head, uh, the centerpiece would be too long for the boxes. I use standard size boxes, usually 12 by nine by nine. Um, so I'll just include them with a little thank you note if somebody purchases them and tell them to use it on the hat. But oh my gosh, I think he is adorable. I really like the way he turned out and I think I'm gonna keep that stand on him because it really brings it together it brings the black from the top to the bottom and this it all just flows nice I hope you guys enjoyed this if you like tutorials like this and you want to learn how to create more styrofoam head art please check out my group creepy corner it's a subscription group I have a pinned post on my creepy holiday stuff page with um, all the information needed on how to join uh, it's a cancel anytime there's hundreds and hundreds of tutorials uh, to choose from. It would keep you busy for a long time. It's a lot of fun. Great people in there. Um, and if you do subscribe, please remember after you subscribe to go to the group Creepy Corner and request to join. Thank you. Bye-bye.